old, 60 plus months. My father died at the age of 107 years, and I buried him well. How could I die at this tender age? What will my children do? That's my plight. I am crying to the world, crying to people that matters, those that have the fear of God in their hearts, the philanthropists all over the world. Help me, lest I die. I don't want to die. I know I will die, but let it not be now. I don't want my celebration of life or my testimony to come after my death. My beloved brother, so many things are actually wrong with me. But I have to start from a particular point. And I want to equip the indulgence of the general public, people all over the world, that nobody should judge me from my voice because I have a theater voice trend system. I echoes for everybody to hear me. And if you want to judge me from my voice, you might say that I am well all over. Again, my looks look so deceptive. My body looks so confusing that you won't know when it is bad with me and when it is good with me. So to say that when people see me, they say, ah, oh, Gary, me, you're always looking good and fine. Not knowing that I am dead internally. Dead in the sense that, as I'm talking now, over years, let me say it's from 2016, but it became worse from 2017 till date. I've been living with numerous ailments, ranging from liver infection. This liver infection has been there without me knowing until it gradually develops. To the extent that I don't wear shoes again. If I don't put on something like this, I can't move. And my feet is always swollen. If you look, if you take a close look, this bogey slippers now equally gives a mark, showing you how swollen the feet is. That notwithstanding, from what I read from the internet of recent, that not going to toilet is a symptom indicating that you are leave your kidney is being affected. I'll tell you categorically now that for weeks I will not go to the toilet. Ranging from weeks to months, I may not go to except if I induce the toilet with any substance that can make me to go to the toilet and get me released. I have also what the doctors described as weak cells of my body, the whole body system, all my weeks, all my cells are weak, they are down. And they described it that I am dying slowly or gradually. As I talk with you now, I cannot stand for five minutes, nor break for five minutes. If that happens in any way, by any circumstance, from here, from my waist down to my feet, will be vibrating. Even the vibration, I will be hearing the sound of the vibration. I cannot stand. There is no single stamina or strength in me. If I take one pull, I will be panting as if I want to collapse. And in that respect, I know that I have also diabetes trending all over me. I have post -trait. I have high blood pressure. It wasn't it all. Since December this year till January became so severe, February, I was suffering deafness. If you are talking to me and you don't shout, I will not hear you. And if by adventure as an actor, I manage to get a small job to do, if my employers, my partners that are acting with me did not raise their voice in the times of a rehearsal, for me to get acquainted to the scenario of what we want to shoot. If they don't raise their voices up or high, I will not hear them. And I will plead to them, please speak out louder so that I can hear you. When we understand what we want to do, so when we get back to set to record, everybody can minimize because his piece or her voice was then I know when to come in and when not to come in. And they will oblige me and cooperate with me. This is the only way I've been measuring, I've been coping. I've spent a lot of money. Every cobalt I get since this 2016 till date goes into medication. 
In 2020, I would have been a gun, a gun, a gunner. I would have been a dead human being. Until somebody introduced me to a product known as a high um, science product called Double Stem Cell, Crystal Cell, Actual Plus, and Snowfort Fill. As God may have it, it was what sustained me from that period of time. And then we wish to buy this medicine, a pack of it that contains 14 such eggs for 20 or get about 15,000 naira. And because of the increase in dollars, before it gets to 710 naira now, per dollar, yeah. the blessing has gone up to 28,000 naira per pack. Hmm. And the prescription now is that I have to take these drugs that I've mentioned for consecutive 12 months so that I'll be revived again, so that I'll be strong again. So that I will be energized again. So that I will be like somebody who has never tested sickness. Because the little I was able to take really proved to my body that this is a product to deal with. And somebody, even no matter what I've explained, may equally see it that maybe I'm blabbing or lying. What I want to tell anybody who has interest in helping me financially or medically is to take me back to the lab and run comprehensive test of my body. If all that I have said is true, I will plead the people if they don't want to give me cash to see or ask me how these products will be gotten. If they have been bought and handed over to me, glory be to God, I will be with the heart also to see the way I will help people that I am better off. No matter how it is today, I know that there are little, little things or help that I've been rendering to people. The cost of this medicine, as I've mentioned them, for 12 months amounts to 4 million 104,000 naira. I don't have it. And I don't want to die. That is why, as a public figure, as a celebrity, I have decided to bury shame to be alive. If not because of the reason of saying, what will people say? We is not a celebrity? This and that. I, have, I, I would have been on air even before you trust me. Because I don't know how you heard about my predicament. And having heard of it, I ran to my head. God will equally run to your own head in terms of your need. Amen. So that is what I am soliciting for. Help that will see me through. Because I don't want to die. I am too young to die. I am nothing but only 60 years old. 60 plus months. My father died at the age of 107 years, and I buried him well. How could I die at this tender age? What will my children do? That's my plight. I am crying to the world, crying to people that matters, those that have the fear of God in their hearts, the philanthropists all over the world. Help me, lest I die. I don't want to die. I know I will die, but let it not be now. I don't want my celebration of life or my testimony to come after my death. So that's just the situation. That's just this. Even the cost of this medicine that I mentioned now, that of my deafness is not inclusive. Because I've been to the hospital, Federal Medical Center, Lagos, uh, General Hospital, uh, Lagos, Ireland. And to an extent, when you go to go into the lab for test, I don't have money. And they say, after that test, I will go for hearing aid. And here, uh, they don't give it in proxy. I don't know how much it costs. But when I learned of somebody that is using it, I asked somebody, though that person was not realistic. He said that she didn't know why it was 1.5 million or thereabout. So this one, I am not certain of it. Because the inquiry I was making towards it is half done because I haven't done the test. I repeat, let nobody look at my body structure. When it's raining on me, you won't know. When it is dry on me, you won't know. God has given me this church of this body. And I won't say he did wrong. No. But sometimes it covers some things for me. I use it to pass the highway. People assessing me or looking at me or seeing me as a, a rich man that I am not. That is why I said, instead of dying in shame, let me bury the shame and be alive. That's just it.
quite unfortunate. So, sir, uh, you handed me over this document. This shows that Actors Guide is aware of your predicament. Yes. yes. They are aware. Uh, this is a letter from my national president. The national president. This one. Yes. The national president of Actors Guild of Nigeria, Chief Emeka Rola Sejizia, who is aware of my circumstances, gave me this a backup letter to anyone that might care to help for them to know that, yes, I am really sick. I am really down. And more so, I am taking this measure because all of the people that I have seen on social media asking for help, their condition or their situation has so deteriorated, has gone deep bad, that even if you contribute money, trying to save their life, you will not save their life because the situation has gone worse. So now I'm at the worst stage, not worst. If they come to me, rally around me for assistance, I think I will be okay. I will be okay. okay. Because whatever that is transforming into kidney, liver, infections, if it's arrested at this stage, <laughs> it will not deteriorate. I will not die. So that's just the situation. Wow. Wow. Oh, I'm in short of words. You will not die, sir. Amen. I believe uh, there are good people out there that will see this video and come to your head. In Jesus' name. So, sir, do you have family? You have your. Do you have a family? I am married with two, with three children. Yeah. A girl and two boys. Yeah. So where are they? They are in Lagos. It's Lagos that I reside. Okay. okay. So why, why are you in where now? Well, I'm always on transit. Okay. No matter how bad it is, man must hustle. Right. It's in the process of it that.